Tony the goddamn tiger. He left me for dead. What? Oh, I did. <laughs> I'm just gonna do this for a bit. Alright, now what? <clears throat> Let us begin. Okay. And this song, the song that has been in my head for like three weeks. Oh my goodness, there's coconuts. It has basically inspired me to play this game in the first place. Oh. Good job. You like couldn't sleep last night because of the song? No, I couldn't sleep because of the frickin' crusty spring pizza zone. What is this? Huh? What was that? A drink. Oh. You'll do. A drink. So I guess this was just a place to get a parasol if it was desired. There seems to be a fire ability over here that I was talking about. Killed the Koopa. <laughs> that I don't want that Koopa. anyway. I think killing the Koopa is going to be a thing. No, it's not going to become a thing. But, uh, yeah, if you want to explain your episode from yesterday, that would... My episode? Well, I don't know what else to call it. Well, like... I don't know. I could have died. Okay, maybe not, but... Also, you may, <clears throat> may have contributed to a drug deal. Maybe. I'm not sure. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not, but you never know. Um, I'm trying to, like, think and not die at the same time, and it's difficult for me. Maybe drug deal. No, the bank, the bank knew who he was, so... Okay, but yeah, we should probably explain. <laughs> anyway, I've been looking for a job on, like, very... Ooh. I don't, I don't know what that was. Uh, you inhaled two abilities at the same time and got a random one. Oh, okay. <clears throat> the speedrun of the original Kirby's Adventure involves uh, getting that as early as possible, getting the UFO ability, and then, like, glitching out the game with it. I really suck at getting them back. Oh. I can't, I can't think and, and play this game because I suck at this game. Okay. It's not even a hard <clears throat> game, though. This whole video is going to be me trying to tell the story. Probably. <laughs> God. Um, but yeah, I've been looking for a job on just, like, you know, Craigslist and various things and stuff like that. And I wanted to find a job as a secretary, so I put in a few, like, applications and stuff. Well, I get a response back <clears throat> from Craigslist, you know, and I'm immediately like, okay must be cautious immediately kind of thing. Press or is air grind. You can't grind back rails. Okay. okay. What the fuck is this? Press A to grind. I'm pressing A. You know, just oh. let go when it turns oh, black, okay, I guess. I this is definitely different. It's kind of fun. But anyway, correct this <clears> job. <throat> yeah, um, so I talk with him for a bit and he's like, well, I only need a secretary for, like, one to two days. And I'm like, okay, that's that's fine. Like, get my foot in the door kind of thing. And then from that point, it would be, like, a uh, hopefully more permanent status. But for now, he only needs a temp. So he owns a business <coughs> in um, a place that's, like, 30 minutes away. So I get a call yesterday. And he's like, hey, do you, do you feel like working today? And I'm like, well, and I'm thinking, well, I haven't had an interview. We've talked on email, and that's about it. He has really no idea what I look like, and, like, I just get a call, and <laughs> can you come in and, and, like, do a job for me, you'll get paid. And I'm like, okay, fine. It's 30 minutes away, so I drive, and keep in mind, it's, like, storming yesterday in, uh, Texas. It didn't start storming no. until after you had well, left, though. Right, but, like, it, it wasn't so bad until I got, I had to leave, basically. But, um, what is that? Just a thing. Oh, okay. Um, so, I go there, and, like, I, I call, say, like, hey, I'm outside the place. It's, like, some kind of warehouse for a motor place and, and all that. So, I, I call, say, I'm out, outside, and he's like, okay, I'll be out in a second. He comes out, and he looks like Hank Schrader from Breaking Bad. So, I'm like, okay, so it's a fairly normal-looking guy, kind of big, but bald, and, like I said, Hank. So, if anyone knows who that is. Um, and he's, he hands me an envelope and says, there's a thousand dollars in here, I need you to go deposit it. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. This is the first time, keep in mind, this is the first time I have seen this man in person, ever. And he just hands me an envelope full of cash and 
says, hey, go deposit this. And I'm like, okay. And he gives me the routing number and the account number. He says, just shred that and throw it away when you're done. I'm like, okay. And he gives me the directions to the bank. It's like six minutes down the road. And I deposit it. And I text him and say, I deposited it. And like he says, great, thanks. And that was it. <laughs> so we're basically thinking this was like a test of character. I don't but know. It's a test that could have cost him a thousand dollars. It was a thousand dollars. I mean, so, don't don't think. I know I didn't think about like running off with the money. That's not who I am. But I did think about if somebody like, else, yeah. like had gotten hold of this. Like he just handed me a thousand dollars in cash. All he knows is my num- my phone number and my email. He doesn't know where I live. He doesn't really even have my last name for on his records. And good luck trying to remember it from the two seconds he looked at my resume. <laughs> so that was just kind of weird. And I, I don't know. But yeah, before I left, I, I had to make sure that Josh had like a code word. <laughs> yeah, because what happened was the day before she uh, was being interviewed by somebody for a uh, nanny, job. nanny job and wanted me to come with for reason. And, well, cause, um, because, because, um, I am more nervous when meeting people face to face rather than legit businesses. Like, if you apply for a Staples job or a Walmart job or something like that, then that's fine. Obviously, there's not going to be any problem there. But, <clears throat> but yeah, basically, it, it, it amounted to me uh, sitting in a Starbucks with nothing to do for two hours, <laughs> and I had to do all the editing on that credit sequence. So I'm, I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to come with this one. It'll be fine. Of course, and it's the Craigslist one, the one I'm more no- most nervous yeah. about. And so <laughs> she's, like, worried that there's going to be, like, murder happening Well, or not even that. And just, like, what if so I get I'm robbed like, or worse or, you so know. So she's like, I will say pineapple if something yeah, goes wrong. Uh, the <laughs> phrase is, the, uh, I, would, he would, I had him call at a set time and say, okay, if I say anything with the word pineapple in it, like, like say, you know, did you go to the store and pick up that pineapple and the vegetables that I wanted? Then that would be the code word for him to basically hang yeah, up, call, call the police, police. and tell but, um, the address I went to. I have to admit, <clears> though, um, when you did, when I did call, I think you were like talking to him or something. Yeah. And was... So you seemed kind of weird, and I wasn't sure well, if I, I should be concerned. I didn't want him like, to think to to know that it was like a checkup call. Um, I wanted to act natural. You were just like, like, hey, I'm out running an errand, and I'm like... Well, no, I said I was, like, about to run an errand for him, and everything was okay kind of thing. Do you want to get the thing? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> but I didn't want it to look like it was an obvious checkup call, even though he might have probably known that, but... Because after I hung up, I was like, oh, my husband's going to the store, he just wanted to know what to get kind of thing. <laughs> so... Because I didn't want to, like, be awkward about it, you know? Like, who wants to know that someone got a checkup call for them? But, yeah, it was just a weird experience. And... Okay, I think this one is progress. But, yeah, the bank knew who he was. Like, he's like, oh, you can go in and Ooh, talk. Oh, UFO. Oh. What? You killed the UFO. What? What? I'm sorry. Is there a way to get it back? You're so sad. Well, the UFO is the best power. Oh, I feel really okay, bad. Okay, come over here. Oh. Let's see if we can get it back. I'm sorry. sorry. Nope, it's gone forever. Oh, I'll just... I'll just go in the corner over there. Well, if you're in the corner, then I can't get out the door. So. No, I'm so sad. I'm sorry. It, there will be other UFOs. Just... Maybe in, like, World 6. Oh. <laughs> I really do feel really bad. I'm sorry. We will go back into the level to get it. You still love me, right? I don't know. No. No. Divorce. Oh, is the divorce. <laughs> what did I... What did I divorce you over at Walmart earlier? Um, not picking out the kind of cookies that I wanted, or something like that. I think it was because you were standing like two inches from the ramen and you wouldn't No, 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 that wasn't that. It was in front of the cake, because you were like, what do you want for your cake? I want to make a cake for your birthday. And I'm like, are you actually going to make a cake? And he's like, yeah, I'll make the cake. So I'm, I'm trying to figure out what kind of cake I want. And I'm like, well... I like red velvet, but everyone picks red velvet because red velvet is well, like amazing. red velvet is your favorite, though. It is, but I haven't had a chocolate cake in years, so I was like, okay, let's just do chocolate because, you know, chocolate's yummy. So we got chocolate cake, chocolate frosting. Chocolate everything. <laughs> chocolate everything. I'm really not usually a chocolate person. Like, I even like vanilla-based ice, ice cream. Like, I don't really like chocolate-based ice cream, but, um... 
I don't mind regular chocolate. Like, don't get me wrong. Chocolate is so amazing and yummy. I just don't like chocolate ice cream that much. Oh, it's Meta Knight. Yes. <clears throat> Except I don't know if he was named in this game, actually. He just kind of shows up with a bunch of minions and... I might suck at this. It's okay, I'm actually not doing very well either. I, I can't. But, um, even though it wasn't the reason that I, uh, like, quote-unquote divorced you at Walmart, um, <laughs> I do have to... And that's to, a joke for people I do have to mention the, uh, the stupidity of standing three inches from something and then making me get it. I didn't like, even mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. Do that I, I didn't mean to do that today, honestly. But yeah, I, I do the hawk fetch thing. Hawk fetch. <laughs> <laughs> I like oh, hawk fetch, and, and you know, it's like two inches in front. But you know, I'm the one who pushes the buggy, who makes the list, and and the man gets the things, and that's what men do. So Let me see. I can be sexist. <laughs> Here. Ooh, laser. Oh yeah, we do have to go back to the other uh, Sorry. Except it might be gone for a moment. Oh, will it? Uh, I'm not gonna show the entire level on screen. We'll just cut back once it's finished. Bye. Okay, UFO did not respawn. I'm sorry. So. I feel really bad. <clears throat> oh, only time it'll ever show up in the entire game. No. How do I drop my ability? Select. Okay. Z. You want fire instead of sword? Yeah. I'm okay with fire. I haven't used this one that much, so... You can't use it while floating. That's what I was gonna... Oh, you can. Well, you can use it while, like, in the air, but not if you're floating. So if you... If, like, if you're all puffed up, you have to, like... Oh, okay. You have to exhale that's and then shoot it. What I don't like... I think that's one thing I don't really like about the whole floating for everything is because... I don't know. It feels weird. And... That's what happens. I try to... To, to beat things and then I die. So I like this like candy puff. It's thing. kind of unusual, yeah. Uh, pigs on walls. And is there anything of use in here? I don't want to. I didn't mean to steal it. It's perfectly fine. I have more than you anyway. And I lost my laser. It was my fault. Yep, somehow. It's because the UFO. Blame everything on the UFO. No. Like, to be fair, we're both playing really, really badly, so... Well, that's just me. Like, people gonna have to deal. People's gonna have to deal, yo! Like, I could just kind of blow through an area and not give any craps, but, uh... Yeah. Oh, do you want the rock? The rock? I don't think you've got that power before. Which one is that? The one that looks like a rock. This one? Oh, it's this one. From Smash. Why do I have, like, a Roman Centurion hat? Okay. It's oh only clock. It's okay. People dislike these videos anyway, so. Eh. There was like one person. It was five dislikes versus the zero on other videos. But it's okay. People don't realize dislikes help a video too, so it's okay. <laughs> uh, you can grab that. What is it? It is similar to Crash, but this one has three uses. Oh, okay. I'm not sure when I should use it. Uh, you can use it now. I just hit B. Well, wait until, like, there's a bunch on screen and then do it, yeah. Well, that wasn't a sound effect. Okay. Ah! He's supposed to, like, make this horrible screeching noise. Ah. What is this thing? That. Lizard! I'm trying to think if there's any other abilities in this that have, like, puzzle uses. The laser's the only one I can think of offhand. Like, there's times when you have to pound things in with the hammer, I think, but I don't know if that counts. Mm. There's spark if you want to. Okay. I tried to get it. I don't know what happened there. There's another one now. Not wrong. 
I already did oh. enough of that yesterday, but uh, I had a new idea about today. Um, um, have you explained at all what the level is, or? I explained gamma. I didn't talk about delta though. Okay. Yeah, we're on delta right now. So we're how many levels away from quote unquote beating it? I don't know, like eight. But yeah, we're all on the Greek levels. Um, I'm still looking forward to the uh, remote viewing level. <clears throat> no, yeah, I still don't know if it's legit, but I'm pretty sure it is. Because it was added in 2008, so yeah. Um, but we'll see. David's crazy, so. But um, as I mentioned in the last Platinum video, um, despite me complaining about the absurdity of some of these later puzzles, um, I do still recommend Not Prawn, and if you've never played it, you should try it out. We were thinking of making like a little blog or website or yeah, something that gives Yeah, I was uh, gonna work on that later, Gives actually. hints on all the levels, but doesn't outright tell you the answer. Yes, so, I was um, basically gonna go through a, a thought process with the levels and give hints, but not outright tell you. Just that way you have a different source, other than... If you want ability, you can go in there. This one? No, the door right here. Oh. Um, that way there's a different source other than just, like, the, um, the straight up tell you answers and then the forums, which doesn't tell you anything. The, the thing with the forums is that the, the, some people are so far off and yet post anyway that it kind of, like, yeah. destroys any ability to it's, figure it's out a, what It's a good thing to go to anyway, just to kind of, like, as a thing. Um, just as a thing to do, and he wiggles his butt. What? He wiggled his butt at yeah, us. Yeah, it'll do that. So if you want the freeze ability, you can go, um, out or you can destroy it. Okay. And Sorry. that's all we got. Do we leave automatically, or...? Did, did I break something? No. Um... Okay. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, it's a good game, but it definitely needs some help on the internet. Basically, there's zero anything for the For these later the levels, levels, they give you absolutely nothing there's to go nothing on. To go off. Horseshit. There's nothing to go off of. So few people have beaten the Greek levels that there's really no walkthrough for the Greek levels either. So you can't even use the walkthrough that is out there um, to try and, like, you know, get hints and stuff. It's very strange. I mean, not okay. entirely. Here's strange. A deal, if you know. Out of the was it 17 million people that have tried the game, only zero point zero. There's 35 zero. people who yeah. have beaten the entire thing, which includes the remote viewing level. Yeah. So apparently, 35 people have remote viewed. Or gotten lucky. Well, at least I don't know how many of that is before to 2008. No, level. because that was uh, like the number that was listed there was specifically the ones that cleared that last level. Okay. So, how do you get... Uh, you needed the wheel. Oh. So, actually, I think you need to go back and get one. Oh, it won't let you. Alright, um... I can go this way. Oh, uh, that'll work. Maybe. Okay. And it was all for a health thing, which I... I lose yeah. track of my color. Oh, it wasn't that useful. <laughs> here, let me see if I can get the best ability on the guy. I don't know if it'll wander over here. Here we go, best ability. Oh, it's so smooshy. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's adorable. What's the point? It, there is no point. Oh, okay. There is no point. Oh. <laughs> oh god, you died. I oh. wasn't paying attention to what now I was what? doing. I have an excellent little white face in the corner. Okay. Um, it looked like there was a thing to the left. I think. How come I can't go through this one? Racism. Is there anything even... Well, you can slide kick it, but uh, I don't know if there's even anything over there. Oh. Uh, that is fireball ability. Yeah. Maybe this is how you get rid of those blocks? Maybe. Yep. I feel like we were saying something and then I forgot what. Um, oh, but yeah, 35 people have yeah, apparently beaten it. either... The remote viewing level is basically the creator has an image on his computer and you have to basically use, like, psychic abilities to figure out what this image is. We're not sure how legit and it so is yet. 
basically what happened was the game actually did have a final level that was like normal and yeah. then a few le a few years later he went like, crazy he went crazy started and... believing in new age medicine and like weird shamanism stuff or whatever it is and like he just kind of made that level yeah, he, and like, is like well doesn't... you've got to beat this to beat the game now I'm, there's a few forums like, that talks about it I'm not sure how true it is obviously anything on the internet you take with a grain of salt but apparently he ah! like doesn't believe in cancer he or should have not, bacteria should have not died there. That or really stuff like that and And um, that was just anyway, kind of moving weird. on. Yeah. This entire, entire area can be skipped. It's just I'm trying oh. to explore stuff and like find it. <laughs> well, we're having fun talking. Like, having a time. This is the Wednesday video. It's the one that you don't give a shit on. So. Oh, okay. And then I get to go through the NES game and bumble around exactly as much time as we did in this one to make it sync up. That'll be fun. You don't have to. No, I do. <laughs> it is mandatory that I do this. Ooh, high jump. Alright, you've got one more try. <laughs> I do my best! What do I do? Just, Just jump? Press the button. The B button. Um, let's see. Whee! No. 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 I can't get out. I don't like this game. It's adorable, but oh my goodness. Oh, how did I kill the tomato that made that sense? Yeah, I am, I, I'm learning something about myself in this game, and that is that I'm, for some reason, absolutely horrible if I try to, like, go through the level at a medium pace instead of just skipping all the enemies. It's hard so. to skip the enemies when they're just kind of in your way, though. But, uh, anyway, that just leads back to the World 1. This is, like, the quick travel once you have a bunch of worlds oh, unlocked. Okay. So, boss time, if you need to get an ability, uh, there's laser in the place. Is it in this here? This one. Laser! Caution! Laser! laser. Caution! I want to go through that again. What is it? It's a weird Immediately lose my laser. skating painter thing. Ugh. I actually kind of like this boss. If you're fighting it without an ability, it's uh, kind of interesting because you have to get the things that are painted and you can get like funky abilities from them. And there we go. Alright, well that was World 2. That was fun. Butter. Another extremely catchy song. Butter. Litter. Parquet. Must end video before the catchy song can begin. Parquet! What? Parquet. Parquet? Parquet building. What is parquet? It's butter. Oh, wait. Is no. that like pop sick? No, it's parquet. You don't, don't know, know what, what parquet is. is? No, what the fuck it's is parquet? It's a brand of butter. Am I supposed to know this? And like, parquet is like fun of me I don't know about it? How do you know? I don't know. It's like, it's not butter. It's parquet. It's <laughs> I remember the freaking like kids hearing their parents have sex butter commercial. No, like, I don't, it's not that. It's the I can't. It's not I can't believe it's not butter. It's it's not butter. It's parquet. I don't know. All right, whatever. Someone say in the comments. You know who it is. <laughs> okay, hold on. That sword description reminds me of. You think you're gonna ziggy zags from the freaking Noxus corner, but nobody knows what that is. So never mind. Ending. Parquet. <laughs> 